Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this uh, live stream on Twitch. If you're watching the YouTube video, this is just a replay of the Bitcoin price update from the live stream over on Twitch. So next time maybe make sure to join also my Twitch channel. You find the link down below here in the video description. So with this video, we're going to have a small uh, Bitcoin price update <clears throat> and also congratulations to everyone that took this uh, long opportunity that I mentioned in uh, my morning video. So in the video that I uploaded today, I told you that most likely we are going to break out here to the upside and currently we are seeing this uh, play out and it looks like that we still have a lot of room left to the upside and at the same time I'm currently testing a bit my new uh, streaming setup so let me know please uh, if you can hear me well and if you can see me well I hope everything is perfectly working and uh, now we can have an update here on the Bitcoin price because I know some of you already took a long position so congratulations and shout out to all the Discord members that are also watching right now. And uh, the super chat is also opened uh, here on Twitch. So you can also let me know from where are you watching. And of course, also if you have any kind of altcoin that you want me to analyze, then feel free to share it in the chat or in the comment section. So we are live right now. And uh, just before we start, uh, we are seeing uh, some of the altcoins uh, which are already. Uh, shout out to you. Hello, S. Wolfie. Nice to see you back in the live stream. I hope you also took this long opportunity from this morning. And currently, we are seeing the play out. Um, yeah, before we start with this uh, potential breakout here, and what are my estimation here for the next targets or what could be. Uh, be playing out right now uh, first uh, there are some altcoins which are already starting to pump currently so we're seeing a quite nice bounce after yesterday's sell-off of course uh, so far we didn't take out uh, the uh, the the hit that we took here yesterday also in the altcoins but we're seeing some which are performing pretty nicely like here band protocol for example this is still looking quite bullish to me, even though, of course, a correction was very likely after this huge parabolic run that we had. And um, I'm also still buying some band as well, Chainlink as well. Yeah, we have all the Chainlink, but Chainlink, I want it to correct a bit more. So for Chainlink, I took out already some profits uh, only in band. I'm still DCA in here a bit. Um, but a chain link, I'm waiting here maybe uh, for the Bitcoin price to come back completely towards my bearish targets of around 10k to 9600 before I gonna um, rebuy back into chain link. And uh, yeah, my price targets are uh, at least to reach here this $10 potential, even down here towards $6 uh, before I re enter there. And um, yeah, I think we can start now with the Bitcoin price. Let's go into the one hour. <clears throat> because currently you can see that we had a, a very nice bounce here from the 20 moving average and currently we are getting rejected only here by the 50 moving average in one hour we exactly got rejected at this price point here 11,500 which previously of course was our uh, support and now it's acting as a resistance the thing is that we still have a lot of room left to the upside so I don't think that we will gonna stop here I'm planning to take out some profits from my uh, long position uh, some I will take out here at 11,620 and the next uh, I will see maybe at around 11,700 or 800 if we're going that high um, and then maybe switch over into a short position if I'm getting a sell signal so far the buy signal is playing out and I have also my um, uh, stop loss here right at the lower moving average here in the one hour which is uh, more or less at around $11,400 so if I'm getting stopped out I'm most likely re gonna reopen at maybe a, a better entry uh, the same long position again because it is still possible that we are coming down we 
are not necessarily going straight uh, towards my targets right now but uh, it is very likely that we could do so but um, currently we're seeing an attempt here of the bulls to to uh, push through here 11,500 and let's see if we're able to reach my potential target up here at the 200 moving average in the one hour at 11,700 uh, dollar um, hello DCT which DC uh, nice uh, uh, comment thank you very much my friend and um, yes exactly like uh, I told you this morning that most likely that we will gonna see here a bounce maybe only a short-lived one but most likely we're gonna see a bounce here and the targets would be approximately at our previous uh, supports which now are resistance and um, yeah even though there is a high risk that we will come down again towards 11k and 10,500 that's why I'm also still looking for a short entry once I'm gonna reach uh, my targets here uh, I think also with this move here we can take some gains uh, with us not that much but we can slowly scalp a little bit uh, uh, so for the next parabolic run of Bitcoin we will we will have enough Bitcoin in our portfolio also thanks f uh, to leverage trading and um, make sure also to uh, subscribe on the YouTube channel and of course here on Twitch if you don't follow me already and um, yeah if you need any kind of trading account with my links that you find down below in the video description of the YouTube videos um, with my links you can get some sign up bonus currently also on Dudex so you get instantly $10 and $100 extra if you put a 0 0.2 uh, Bitcoin deposit on it and with my links you support the channel of course and you can also get some rewards and uh, I recommend always to start with Bybit here you can get easily this $90 bonus and uh, this exchange is very liquid and never have any issues with um, liquidity or uh, when the price is moving uh, fast up and down you always um, you can always put in your order or it doesn't matter how fast the price is moving up and down um, not like on bitmax or other exchanges where sometimes you have um, system errors or um, kind of overload uh, the system when too many people are putting in orders at the same time so on bybit you never have that that's why usually i'm trading always here on bybit uh, of course also btr that i use for tether but um yeah now the tether is currently parked on binance uh, um ready to buy in once we're gonna reach our bearish targets um but yes as i told you um it is still very likely that we're going down towards nine thousand six hundred dollars at the end but we can also take some profits on the way up when we have those uh, bounces like we're seeing right now so we don't have to go necessarily right up uh, towards my target straight away here um i think there is also still the chance that we may be gonna form something like this so like a w formation that we may be gonna stay here in this area for a bit and then come down here and then maybe create something like this and then go and reach our targets up here at around eleven thousand eight hundred dollars this is uh, very likely to come in my opinion uh, only because we have still this cme gap down here that we created overnight uh, and it's down here uh, towards uh, $11,315 uh, here on the CME chart we have a premium so this is about $300 difference from where we are right now so that would mean that most likely we will come back down here towards $11,100 uh, before we are maybe coming up to my targets and um, of course if we're gonna have a double bottom so if we're gonna bounce at eleven thousand one hundred dollar and also uh, we will not have a sell signal or anything like that then I think we are good to go to the upside uh, only in case that we're gonna have a, a sell signal so if we're gonna remain for too long down in this area of eleven thousand dollar then maybe there we're gonna get a sell signal or heavily get rejected here at the 50 level in the RSI and then continue the uh, move to the downside towards 10,500 and 9,600 then of course I would um, uh, not open a long position or at least not a big one so that I, I can scale in um, down to 9,600 dollar in case that we continue to drop but currently it looks like that we should be good to go to the upside even though I still think there is a chance that maybe we are going 
now down to close this gap that we had here create a double bottom so there we can also reopen up our long position and then ride it up to our um, targets and uh, we can go over to the four hour time frame because here you can see that after fighting the 200 moving average from this morning I told you the more we are testing this moving average the more likely it is that we're gonna break out to the upside and uh, currently it is at uh, $11,400 exactly um, yeah so um, it is possible that we're coming down to retest it now or in the next uh, four hour candle um, because we got rejected right now at the 20 moving average which is a very important moving average during an uptrend or during a downtrend uh, usually we always get supports during an uptrend from this moving average and the opposite when we're in a downtrend this is acting as a resistance and um, I still think we have enough room left to the upside but we have to break this moving average we have to break it and also close above it so above 11,520 and uh, the next potential target would be up here at 11,670 this is where I gonna close the half of my long position and uh, you can see also that here uh, the RSI still have some room left to the upside so also here uh, we didn't go to test the 50 level right now also the buy signal is just flashing right now here in the four hour so this could be just the beginning of this uh, bounce and if so um, I think there is maybe even a, a chance that we could go even high up to 11,800 to 11,900 here where previously we built up some nice support here along this blue line then we broke below and right now maybe we could see a potential bounce even up to this level here because although if we do a Fibonacci retracement let's say from the top that we had currently at 12,500 down to this um, uh, bottom that we created so far at 11,100 you can see that um, uh, 0.618 fib line is up here at 11,960 it's exactly where our um, the area of our previous support which now is resistance so it is there is a high chance that we may become even up here towards 11,800 to 11,900 dollar before we continue um, to plunge here if we're getting rejected here of course if we are able to break through and get back into this bigger rising wedge here then we could be in here for maybe even a higher high so we could even take out this twelve thousand five hundred dollar if we continue um, to push higher there but um, I don't think that we will push through here if we are coming that high at the moment I think the correction just started here towards our bearish targets which is not a bad thing it's a good thing um, Luxter7 nice to have you here on the live stream uh, best regards from Switzerland over to Island and now where have we stopped here uh, here the daily time frame yeah so far we have still a problem here that the 20 daily is at 11,560 so as long as we're not, we're not able to close the daily candle above this moving average we're clearly now at the beginning of the correction so it was clear that today we're gonna have most likely here a pullback towards the 20 daily and uh, let's hope that uh, we are not getting rejected heavily here 11,560 let's hope that maybe we can push through maybe even have a week above so we can close our long position and maybe open up a short um, because currently we still have here this buy signal in the 4 hour and 3 hour in play so I don't think we will go straight back down here but it's always good to use a stop loss so also me here I'm having currently a stop loss at 11,400 in my trade um, if we're not falling too much I'm gonna reopen up uh, probably at the lower entry because currently I opened it up at 11,355 so maybe I, I'm able to open it up uh, lower and um, if we don't see a bounce at eleven thousand uh, one hundred dollar down here then i'm just gonna keep it for the long term potentially um till we're gonna bottom out at around nine thousand six hundred dollar to ten thousand five hundred it's not that far away and um yeah but currently it looks like that we're coming up and um, the problem is here in the daily that we had a sell signal so this signal is still playing out and the target would be most likely to come back down here towards 10,500 um, initially 
uh, where is it here at around this area where the 50 daily moving average is lining up potentially here we're gonna have a big bounce and maybe retest the 20 daily but at the end we most likely are coming down here at the previous main resistance here at 9540 currently uh, maybe once we're gonna get down to these levels the 200 daily moving average will have reached this area and there maybe we're gonna bottom out completely at the 200 daily we also have to keep an eye here on the CMEs um, because usually this is the more significant chart and uh, here currently it's at, at $8,800 so I hope that we will not come down uh, to these uh, levels pretty soon so I, I'm hoping that we're gonna stay up here for a bit to bring up here the 200 daily towards the 9400 area 9400 dollar close the cme gap and then bounce from it again uh, let's go back to the bitstamp chart but yeah if we have a local bottom here at 11100 dollar it is very likely that we uh, could even bounce up here to the 0 0.618 towards 11900 dollar with this move but uh, all in all most likely we're gonna see this play out towards our bearish targets uh, here in the midterm but for the short term it looks like that we are coming up here a bit and also depending how we're gonna close today um, if we're gonna close at 11,550 or higher then I think uh, most likely we are going to start to trade again towards 12k for another few days but uh, if even today we are not able to close above then I think we have a clear sign that we're gonna get rejected here so we have right now um, a close of the three hour candle below the 20 moving average bearish sign um, let's see if we can push through with this candle but uh, here also you can see clearly now this uh, buy signal is playing out um, usually when the buy signal is playing out here in the three hour um, every dip that you're seeing is good to buy it up because after the by signal we had here this crash towards 11,240 so if you scaled in your long position right now you're in profits like me and you should consider to put a stop loss because as I told you it is still possible that we could form here W formation before um, we're reaching our targets if 11,100 is gonna hold across Canada for young and welcome to the live stream nice to have you here in the live chat as well let me know uh, where are you watching from I guess from Canada if I'm not wrong and um, yeah once more shout out to everyone over on discord who took also this uh, long position and is watching live and of course as always even if you're not trading um, thank you very much for your support very appreciate and um, yeah so currently we're still on our way if we're gonna have a, a major crash down here I probably gonna re-enter at around 11,300 to 11,100 dollar down there somewhere um, because of course this could be still ending up in a big um, uh, rising wedge here if we continue to trade like this usually rising wedges are bearish patterns and uh, yeah i mean we could stay in this rising wedge till we're gonna reach our targets that's why um be sure always to use stop losses or and never get liquidated um yeah so currently the buy signal is still playing out and there is still no reason to go short right now there is no signs even though of course we are breaking out to the downside you can also start to scale in short positions but right now it would be uh, too early so if you're in a short already now close to liquidation it's I, I would consider to close or to buy some more Bitcoin to be able um, to go short uh, in case that you're getting um, into troubles with your trade or close it with a loss because uh, I think it's still a bit too early be because here we still have some room left to the upside even though of course we're seeing this potential trend reversal and um, if you have a short open then I would put the stop loss maybe somewhere at around 12k uh, because if we're going higher again here than 12k so if you're going again above the resistance I think it is very likely that we're gonna push through here uh, towards 12,700 maybe even higher but of course if you look here into the daily currently um, if you open up a short up here somewhere then you are in profits so also 
in that case a stop loss somewhere at around 12k would make sense in my opinion um, I also had a short position uh, but I closed it on the way down here so I didn't wait here for uh, a buy signal I already closed my short position and I was waiting for a long that's why this morning I gave out this long opportunity if you're watching my channel every day uh, sometimes I give out these uh, op the trade opportunities on YouTube when the time is right otherwise I'm always putting it out um, on the discord so make sure to join the discord trading chat as well and um, let me quickly read the chat i try to keep in mind the leverage casinos as long as there are lots of shorts there will be explosive green candle painting like we just saw yeah that is true yeah of course they always try uh, the big exchanges they always try to liquidate and get as much profit as possible from the people that are over leveraged in trades or uh, when there are for example too many shorts sometimes you get like uh, um, a short squeeze or the opposite a long squeeze that can happen of course especially now and I still think there were a lot of longs opened up here at 12k especially when he, when we had here the breakout from this $12,000 we came up to the $12,500 resistance and then straight back down and let me quickly check here the um, the CME chart yeah because remember I also uploaded a video I think I went even live uh, when we had here this breakout uh, when we had here this breakout from 12k um, here you cannot see it in the in the spot market because here we have weekend uh, weekend data but you see this blue line if you exclude here this week that we had here uh, I think this happened during a weekend because if we switch back into the CME you can see the same line here this red line was the resistance and um, and we never broke it so we just came from the bottom here up to the resistance and here we got rejected so here I was live I think or I pointed it out on the YouTube video um, which is that interpreted as a bull move uh, yeah yeah I know that's why I'm telling you uh, I took this long because of the sign that we will see a bounce most likely but since we broke out and also have now two CME gaps below of us we have this small one down here at 11,300 more or less here on the CME and down here at 9,600 to 9,700 um, I think this is the beginning of the correction but if you wanted to take uh, this small uh, run up here then you would have done nicely so far um, and we are still pushing here so you can take also on this move a bit of gains and as soon as we get a sell signal you go you continue to go short um, but of course you can also keep up your short at the moment because um, you get funding rates so far so the problem is only if you're longing right now for too long you will pay a lot of funding rates and um, yeah remember here we just came up to 12,650 so we just bounced from the support up to the resistance and in the CME chart you could see that perfectly if you just watch at the spot um, at the spot chart then you will not recognize this pattern so you thought that maybe this was a breakout so let's remove this again um, because this was our resistance here so this looked like a perfect ascending triangle here that broke out to the upside but we got rejected here and no one was expecting to stop here at 12,500 because um, here it looked like that we now are moving to the next level towards 13 14,000 but if you would have watched the CME chart, you would have seen that we just came up here to the resistance. And this is also when I went live. If you go somewhere back in my videos, I don't know which, probably the one uh, on the 17th of August. Then uh, there I pointed it out that be careful. We just came up to the resistance. We didn't break anything. So afterwards, we just saw this sell off and uh, th at that time i didn't do anything i didn't short i didn't long uh, i was in no trade so um this move here i didn't trade <clears throat> but i pointed it out that most likely we're getting rejected here 
only if we're able to push through this line here then okay this is a valid breakout but we didn't see it we just came back down okay so we can i think delete here these lines and um, let me know where are you watching and if you are taking this long or not everyone that is watching and don't forget to subscribe here on twitch and also on youtube alessandro the crypto very important and even more important don't forget to subscribe to our ten dollar worth of bitcoin we're doing every week ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaways uh, you only have to uh, go to the video that we let me quickly check here this one that we do every monday where it's a subscription video every monday we do the subscription video there you have to go uh, to the comment section and put in your comment and your bitcoin address to uh, participate on our weekly ten dollar worth of bitcoin um the the giveaway is sponsored by uh bityard so shout out to all the stuff over there on bityard um and if you need any kind of trading exchange of course you find also all the links down below here in the video description of the youtube videos that i do every day and uh, hello beer polka nice to have you here in the live stream congratulations to your long and uh, make sure to lock in always your profits i think we still have some room left to the upside a lot of room left to the upside potentially towards 11,650 this area up here um but as i told you in the in this video there is also high chance that we may become first down again and then reach our target so that we are gonna create here a, a short leaf w formation that uh, will bring us up here to our target um, because also we have a fresh new CME gap down here, but um, only because of that I wouldn't close the long yet uh, Maybe put a stop loss or scale in your longs down to these levels if you think that we will go down first um, Thank you very much Luxta for your comment and uh, also congratulations on your second long and uh, Yeah, I think we will have more of these opportunities in the future and um, once this long is gonna play out i think it's maybe also not a bad idea to swap over into a short position but not yet it is still too early um but anyway make sure that you always put a stop loss especially when we are coming close to a 20 moving average like in the four hour um or even one hour time frame because this is usually where the price often corrects after testing it and uh, after um we couldn't break it uh, but I've, i'm pretty confident that we will most likely at least have a week above here if not a close above the 20 moving average in the four hour at least we are gonna see a week or something to the upside um also here if you have a look into the bollinger band my first take profit is up here after reaching the next moving average uh, if we are able to close above 11,580. So if we're not only gonna see a week here, but maybe also a close above, then we should be also good to go towards 11,900, the top of the Bollinger Band in the four hour, which is also coinciding with our previous um, support that we created yesterday here. I think it's not a very significant support because also we lost it immediately, but there is still a high chance that maybe we go up again here to retest this area. It is very likely in my opinion. But I, I don't think it's gonna be very sustainable and this price level is right here at 11,800 like the top here of the Bollinger Band and uh, yeah you're right the correlation to the to the US dollar index is um, is uh, very important and we have a perfect inverted correlation to the DXY which is actually good because the US dollar most likely will go always more or less towards zero slowly slowly uh, and Bitcoin will go the opposite so that means that we will potentially see here DXY creating here this nice big M formation and then crash down here if the money printer is uh, continues to go like this printing money every day deaths are going higher and higher so I'm expecting here the DXY to drop towards here the 80 level so this area down here acted as a very strong support here and i think it is very likely that we're coming down to those levels maybe then start to trade sideways here 
maybe even see a bit a little bounce to the upside or something and then continue to plunge this is at least my expectation um but here for the short term for the short term short term if you look here at the moving averages currently we are still getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average which is actually very good if the dxy is getting rejected already here because then uh, if we have another fall down bitcoin will rise up even more but uh, we had here a buy signal and um, I think we even had a bullish divergence here. Uh, we had here a lower low or no, I'm sorry, a hidden bullish divergence. We had here a lower low in the price and a higher low in the RSI. So currently we're seeing the play out here to the upside and I think there's a very high chance that we will go up to test here the 50 or maybe even 200 daily moving average here in the DXY and this will bring uh, most likely the Bitcoin price at least down towards our bearish target of around $9,600 if we're coming that high here in the DXY because only the move here from 92 up to $93 um, was almost... Uh, let me quick recap. Where did we go? We went up to 12,500 and we came down to $11,200. So this was uh, almost a $1,000 almost a $1,000 move. So we can say almost that uh, every dollar that the the DXY is going high is $1,000 losses in Bitcoin. So if we would go up to $97 which I don't think we will go most likely, but at least here between 95, maybe to 97 or 96. This would be around three to four dollars higher, which would bring Bitcoin also most likely around three thousand dollar less. So in that case, we would reach around nine thousand um, dollars or maybe even lower if the XY is really going that high. But I don't think that we will reach those levels, especially if we are starting to trade sideways here. Um, because also the moving averages, the longer we stay in this area down here, the lower they are coming down. So that's why I don't think we will shoot up here straight to those levels. But there is an inverse uh, correlation to the DXY, which is actually very good, even though for the short term it looks like DXY could have a potential bounce to the upside. Also here, if you look at the 4-hour, uh, the 200 moving average is here at, at uh, 93 point, uh, well, let's say 94 so it's a very high chance that maybe we go up here to test it and then come back down. It is very likely we had here a sell signal and currently we're coming down a bit. Um, but um, yeah, I think we just started to trade sideways here. So it's not clear if we're going to have here another leg up or not. I think currently here the DXY is just squeezing here in between in these moving averages. And here we're going to have to see where it's going to break out. If it's going to break out to the downside, we will see another pump on Bitcoin. If it's going to break out to the upside, also Bitcoin will fall most likely. So let's keep an eye here also, also on the DXY. And of course, also here on the Bitcoin price. Currently, we're still getting reject rejected from the 20 moving average in the 3 hour. 4 hour, also still nothing new. And... Um, yeah, let's hope that here in the one hour we can push through the 50 moving average would be bullish because in that case with the next target would be up here at 11,800, uh, 11,680 and this is where maybe you should consider to um, take out profits or rise up your stop loss because that could be also a target um, uh, for this move and then we continue to plunge or we're gonna create maybe a bigger W formation like this. It's also possible. But after reaching this point up here, I think there it's gonna be a bit critical if we're getting rejected. So there maybe consider to take out profits. Don't be too greedy. Um, with this move here, Bitcoin will not go to 300,000. So don't expect like huge gains with this trade. Take out as much profits as you can, maybe on the way up or just put a stop loss and then wait for the next uh, opportunity. There will be always opportunities. Also, if you missed out here, there will be always a second chance uh, to uh, re-enter. But important is that you trade always. Doesn't matter here on Bybit, Femex, Bityard with Tether, 
because here on Bityard you can trade with um, uh, you can trade with uh, Tether. Also important. If you're taking out profits in Tether, then that doesn't mean that you cannot trade anymore. You can go over here on Bityard and trade also here with your Tether. All the coins that you're seeing here, even derivatives like gold, oil, and so on, you can trade here. Even Nasdaq, you can trade and with your tether you can also start to leverage trade and yeah like here on the der derivatives you can see that usually here we don't see big moves but let's say if nasdaq is starting to correct here a lot towards here the eleven thousand dollar area uh, here you can even uh, go up to 200x leverage which of course is insane but since here you don't have big moves usually uh, with 200x leverage you can do uh, huge gains even just with a couple of dollars um, but of course i mean already 100x is very risky and 200x is like really casino maybe you can use that when you uh, when you do a breakout trade or anything like that otherwise here you will get immediately liquidated if you're on the wrong side but just to show you that all the way tether you can trade you find all the links down below here and on BTR you can get $258 uh, bonus the more you trade the more bonus you get here uh, otherwise with crypto I always recommend you buy with your Femex Femex you can also trade Chainlink for example or gold and buy with is like really focused on um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS and XRP and you can even trade um, uh, with, uh, with your Tether here of course but uh, uh, with trading with Tether, I prefer to trade uh, over on the Bityard, it's a bit uh, more easier. $11,500, yes, so far it is acting as a resistance. So far we didn't see a push through. And uh, let's hope that in the next couple of hours uh, we're gonna see here at least a retest of the 200 moving average in one hour. Would be good to at least uh, take out some profits put a stop loss and then see if we go if you're going higher or if we're getting rejected here but um, so far we don't see any signs of a sell signal or anything like that so we just had the buy signal the long is playing out congratulations for everyone that took this um, long position and now let's just wait lock in the profits put a stop loss maybe already think about where to exit or slowly scale out some uh, profits because on Bybit for example um, let's say I want to take out profits here at the next moving average at 11,570 so I go to limit close uh, I put the um, the target 11,570 and I want to close only maybe like uh, half of my position so I, I half it here number of position closed and then confirm so once we're gonna reach this level, my uh, the half of my position will uh, get closed, and the rest of it I can just put a stop loss uh, or uh, take out profits uh, the higher we're coming, or raise up my stop loss. So I'm taking out profits already now here, and maybe uh, later on up here. If we're not coming up to those levels up here, uh, at least I took out profits here and if on the way down I will get stopped out and also I'm getting out with smaller profits but at least I will not get underwater or um, liquidated or stopped out. And anyway, I, I would never get liquidated because usually I always put um, a stop loss or I'm always putting an order right above the liquidation price so I can keep alive my trade if I think that we anyway will go higher so I had here this morning all the trades uh, down to this area here because uh, even if we would have fell down to our next target of $10,500 the next bearish targets um, I would have uh, scaled in my long position because there I'm expecting another bounce to the upside and even if we go down towards $9,000 this is anyway the area where I'm gonna scale in buy orders and therefore also scaling in longs will get cheaper. So even if you start scaling longs up here down to 9k it will get always cheaper so you always need less bitcoins to keep alive your long position. That's why longing is always better than shorting because if you short if you're shorting and the price goes higher and higher to buy more Bitcoin or to scale in your short positions, you need always more Bitcoin uh, to keep it alive. And that's why it's very dangerous to go short usually. 
and um, that's why I always prepare to go along and uh, yeah here we could also have a bullish cross in the MACD in the next couple of hours let's see if we're gonna see it or not and uh, yeah the three hour is really looking great in my opinion uh, so let's keep up here with the one hour time frame and let's wait how this trade is gonna play out funding rates are gonna be paid in one hour let's see what will happen then and um, yeah let's open up quickly here this uh, trade position uh, let's quickly check the stop loss is down here eleven thousand four hundred dollars so that I think that is a good price level for a stop loss and um, yeah also the one hour is looking good uh, if anyone has an altcoin that you would like to analyze or to have a look at you can let me know in the chat currently I don't see any bigger movements here only the only band protocol is again going completely insane so congratulations who bought the dip I still have my band coins that I bought up somewhere at around eight to ten dollars so far I didn't take out profits here I took out some profits on Chainlink but not yet on uh, band protocol and uh, this is also a coin which I'm probably gonna buy in case that Bitcoin is gonna fall further down but um, yeah so far band protocol is still looking very healthy here We could also see something similar like we had over here came down to the 20 daily and remember guys I told you that on Chainlink I had a sell signal up here remember the sell signal when we also uh, came up to the $20 level and um, I didn't say that it is uh, likely that we're coming down uh, straight towards the 200 daily it is possible but I told you that last time that this happened here, we just came down to the 20 daily moving average. This is also what we have seen here um, right now. And here in the in the past, you have seen once we got here a sell signal over here on the way up here, we came straight back down to the 20 daily moving average. That was again a good buy opportunity. Then we started here this parabolic move from $7 up to $20. So congratulations to everyone that took this uh, buy opportunity. And right now we're seeing another buy opportunity, even though I think uh, it is very likely that Bitcoin could correct down further down and then most likely all the chain link will come back further down towards here, the $10, maybe even down to $6. But um, if Bitcoin is going to have a big bounce to the upside, then uh, also chain link uh, uh, will have a big move as well. But so far it's lagging behind, especially behind the band protocol so here we have 20% gain today it's really amazing uh, we also have Swiss Borg which is not doing too bad we are moving along the 20 daily moving average um, BNB is also quite nicely even though also here we had a sell signal um, dot let's have a look on dot I have no idea about the fundamentals and so on but let's well yes this coin is really going parabolic here we don't even have any kind any kind of data it is just trading on Binance since a couple of days if you have a, another exchange that maybe it's listed up for longer time maybe maybe okay X yeah okay that is very weird but um, I'm not sure if this is the same and uh, no no this must be something else let's quickly have a look and go back to this one anyway this coin is really going parabolic so if you're holding some of them congratulations uh, I uh, don't hold any of them but uh, it is looking like that is getting quite toppy here so maybe a retracement back to five dollars is likely here but uh, yeah, be careful in case that you have like big uh, positions on uh, altcoins because if Bitcoin is really coming down, then those coins will correct even more, especially the coins that are performing like really, 
um, a lot here like band protocol chain link and some other alts if we're gonna see blood on the streets these coins uh, will really uh, bleed a lot so usually then it's good to take out profits or swap back into Bitcoin or tether and then rebuy back in uh, cheaper and um, yeah it's going parabolic same like uh, we're seeing also right now a band we had today 20% it's amazing really amazing it's uh, yeah the only thing which I'm a bit disappointed is like the top coiners like Ethereum um, not to speak about XRP but the Ethereum Litecoin for example uh, US and so on uh, they are not performing that well I mean they are performing similar like uh, Bitcoin I mean also there of course you can do some nice gains but usually what you expect on altcoins are that they are um, performing way better compared to Bitcoin and and currently they're all performing more or less the same like Bitcoin only some uh, projects from the DeFi space like Band or Chainlink there you're seeing these uh, huge uh, pumps right now and I think also in the next parabolic run those coins probably will be the coins that you can do some 1000 or 10,000 X but um, maybe on the other altcoins you will be able to also to do a couple of x's but not maybe like some coins in a DeFi space and the difficult thing is especially for beginners to pick up those uh, few um, DeFi projects that will really perform great and uh, congratulations to your 300 percent profit um, I also did some nice profits with some of these uh, but most of the profits are already swept over into Bitcoin so they're kind of free Bitcoins that I get from these uh, altcoins and yeah that, that makes me very happy and uh, yeah XRP is really a pain in the ass this, this coin I don't know I'm still holding some of them and sometimes there are really nice looking patterns but they're really not performing that great of course yeah we had here um, a breakout to the upside and maybe in the next parabolic run also xrp will be doing some nice gains but i don't think the xrp is gonna outperform like any coin of the DeFi space and of course not even bitcoin most likely but of course also here if you're holding this coin like me i would just wait to sell um, maybe if it's gonna like really have some weeks of really nice performance or uh, when Bitcoin is topping out maybe in the next parabolic run then maybe also sell off some bags of XRP because also if you zoom out you can see that we are still here at the bottom so we are still far away from all time high of $3.30 so I don't know what to say about this coin but uh, yeah I'm happy when I can take it off um, my uh, my portfolio even though there is still chances that this coin could be important in the future or anything like that but um, uh, I think it's good to have some but it's nothing that I'm watching or trading currently and I'm also not much interested what is going on in the XRP space but I'm just holding up a few of them I mean XRP is still uh, I think top 3 coin or something like that so why not keep also some of it and uh, yeah it's the same all the reason why i keep some dogecoin uh, there is no fundamentals nothing but uh, it's just nice to have a bit of a meme coin in my portfolio just for fun and um, if you look at the price action and if you think if you think about what is dogecoin this is completely nothing and you see how much uh, pump and dumps that we're seeing here this is really amazing and yeah Maybe only because it's a meme coin in the future, some people will or want to hold it just for fun. But there is completely no need to trade it or like buy it for whatever reason. Okay, so. Yeah, XRP sometimes looks very bullish but doesn't make it nothing at the end. I mean, if you compare like to some other coins, especially like Chainlink or Band, sometimes they look very bullish then they have a breakout and it's going completely parabolic way more than expected and this is what you want to see when you trade 
um, when you trade altcoins. You don't want to trade altcoins to buy and hold it forever like XRP. You want altcoin to buy in, and after a couple of hours later you want to sell for profits back into Bitcoin or buy every dip that you're seeing in altcoins and then as soon as it pumps again uh, immediately uh, sell it again and so on make profits and so on quickly not like XRP where after many years already now it's still at the same price level more or less or it's even losing value look at this chart here Ben this is really looking amazing in my opinion I hope I hope that Bitcoin will follow it I ho really hope that maybe band will be the next leading indicator for the next parabolic run I hoped it was Ethereum, but yeah, sometimes Ethereum is leading, but yeah, currently, unfortunately, it's not performing like really great. It's still undervalued, in my opinion. Even now, $400 is still very, very low, if you ask me. But also here on Ethereum, if Bitcoin is coming down, then watch out maybe here for this price uh, level, the 200 daily moving average at around $240 to uh, scale in here. Put here some buy orders if we've crash to these levels there i'm expecting a big bounce i don't think we will go lower than that and um if you also plan like to own at least 32 ethereum because this is gonna be important if you want to uh, stake ethereum in the future because you need at least at least 32 ethereum to stake and get interest or get paid uh, into Ethereum. So if this is your goal to have at least 32 Ethereum and you don't have yet 32, 32 Ethereum, then make sure that you're ready to buy in at this uh, price level here at $240 if we're gonna crash down to these uh, levels uh, here. Because if Bitcoin is gonna have a bigger correction down to 10K, all the Ethereum will come down to this price level. It has been always undervalued Ethereum and also right now it's undervalued but if we're coming to these ridiculous prices down here 240 then i think this is this would be a great opportunity to buy ethereum all right so it looks like that we're getting stuck here at these price levels at least for now it's a good sign better than like a blow off uh, top or something but as you can see we are still we are still overshooting the Bollinger Band to the upside here in the one hour so a retracement back down even here to 11,388 is possible those price levels uh, at least in the four hour, uh, in the one hour it looks like that maybe we could even come down to these price levels But not necessarily so far we are still uh, good to go but let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours also here ethereum is getting rejected from the 20 daily similar like on uh, bitcoin rsi is right at the 50 so this could be the beginning here of a major sell-off but of course also it's going to depend how we're going to close today's candle let's go back here to the bitcoin chart um Ethereum uh, was ex uh, expensive experience from 2017, no big bag anymore. Um, yeah, this is a good strategy in my opinion. This is the same thing like I'm also doing. All the profits that I'm doing with um, with trading, I always convert it back into Bitcoin and um, not even into Tether. Sometimes also a bit in Tether, but most of it into Bitcoin. I just sometimes take a bit of profits out even in tether just to uh, make sure that I have enough to buy in in case that Bitcoin is going to have a major crash or anything like that that I'm also uh, able to buy uh, cheap Bitcoin like this without even need to trade altcoins but uh, overall currently it looks like that some altcoins are already doing fine and um, yeah just keep an eye on uh, bitcoin because if bitcoin uh, will fall or continue to plunge here we will see also a lot of these altcoins correct further down and um, yeah as i told you currently this long position is still in play there is no need 
uh, to sell or go short right now even though we are facing here a bit of uh, resistance already at, in at our very critical point here eleven thousand five hundred dollar but um yeah i think we still have some room left to the upside here for our trade um, but use a stop loss and then look for a good re-entry in case uh, that um, we're gonna continue to push further up Yeah, I think uh, we can uh, slowly uh, wrap up right now this uh, stream. I think you know the targets and uh, yeah, in case that you're getting stopped out here, because I also have a stop loss in it and we're coming again down and create here a double bottom at 11,100. There I think we should be good to go again to open up another long position but if we're getting rejected already here at 11,500 and you will get stopped out right now then um, maybe wait for the next buy or sell signal because since uh, we have now here a lot of bearish signs and also we're struggling here to go through this uh, resistance it is also likely that we're gonna stay in this potential new rising wedge here in the, sh in the lower time frames and we're gonna see a continuation to the downside it is a bit bearish that we already starting to get uh, rejected here at the 20 moving average also here in the four hour and uh, yeah we have a buy signal currently so we could see here some continuation but if it's gonna be sustainable i'm not pretty sure about it i think that most likely this is just a reaction rally and we're gonna continue uh, to go lower even though i took this long and um, i'm also planning to swap it over into a short but therefore i i'm gonna wait for a uh, sell signal so i will not swap over immediately you never need the perfect entry better wait till you get confirmations and then open up um kadirski nice to see you also here in the live chat uh, what do you think in the short term on altcoins? Well, I think that also here we're gonna have like Bitcoin a nice pump to the upside But if we're gonna see the continuation of Bitcoin to fall down these altcoins will bleed a lot. So If you can maybe I would take out some profits or sell some positions and wait till we're gonna have this final correction down on Bitcoin which then also will take down a lot of these altcoins and there you can um, um, rebuy way way cheaper so there you can uh, stack up a lot of altcoin bags if you want to because some of them especially like we're seeing also right now like band protocol will perform very well uh, as soon as we're gonna bottom somewhere so of course you can do way more gains with them but uh, at the end if you're not sure just buy bitcoin and you should be doing fine but it's also good to diversify into some altcoins of course i have like five percent of my portfolio diversified in many of these altcoins especially the DeFi altcoins then i have like uh, 10 percent uh, in ethereum and the rest all in bitcoin but for the short term on altcoins I think for right now, like Bitcoin, we're going to have a bounce to the upside. Potentially we'll get rejected here very soon. So till then, I think the altcoins will perform nicely. They will um, continue to pump like band protocol right now. But as soon as Bitcoin is going to get rejected somewhere and start a huge correction. So as soon as also here on Bitcoin, I'm going to have a sell signal most likely also these altcoins will fall doesn't matter what altcoin maybe some of them at, at, at the beginning they will remain a bit stable or even pump but at the end they will also most likely come down and only after bitcoin is gonna gear up again and push to the upside then we also gonna see um, lots of these altcoins outperform Bitcoin for sure and if you want to take that risk then of course diversify into some altcoins and what we also have to look here is the Bitcoin dominance because so far we have seen a little spike up here since uh, we're seeing the sell-off and um, I'm still expecting 
the Bitcoin dominance to go higher, the more we go lower in the price. And uh, also here, I think maybe for the next parabolic move, um, we will see the Bitcoin dominance go down again, maybe like we had over here, or maybe even break down from this channel that we are in currently, potentially even down to 50%. Uh, during uh, the parabolic run up, in, maybe in the next couple of years, but at the end, all the profits that the people will take, they will come back into Bitcoin. So all the money that is uh, going out, maybe, will come back and then have a big spike here in the Bitcoin dominance. So at the end, at the end of all the rallies, money will flow back into Bitcoin, in my opinion. The dominance will go way, way higher. Um, yeah. But uh, since I'm expecting that a lot of money will fl flow also into some altcoins to take profits then back also into bitcoins we will most likely see the bitcoin dominance maybe also break down here from this channel but if the price is coming down then i'm expecting here first a bounce here towards the 68 percent level so the top here of this uh, channel if we're gonna see a major correction in the bitcoin price because a lot of people will for sure take out profits or panic sell if they see the altcoins go two or three no two digits down uh, in percentage they will get scared and they will swap back into tether or into bitcoin and this will cause most likely a bitcoin dominance to come up towards these levels before maybe it's coming down again um once the price it's gonna bottom and uh, have a big bounce to the upside yeah i think that is it for now and as I told you, it looks like that we will see continuation here to the upside. But in case that we're gonna um, get rejected up here, consider to close your long or put the stop loss and check if we're coming down here again towards 11,300 to 11,100. Uh, if we're gonna see a bounce there, maybe you can re enter a long position. But um, most likely, I, I'm gonna be just waiting. Uh, for the next buy or sell signal because uh, this uh, long opportunity this bounce was expected But it's not clear if it's gonna be sustainable and where the targets uh, gonna be because as I told you 11,500 was our previous support is now acting as a resistance so everything above could end up in a big wick and we have future gap below of us down here the fresh one at 11,300 we have the big one at 11,600 and um, yeah, most likely we will come down here even though we're seeing now this breather that was expected, expected and I also pointed it out this morning. Good long opportunity, take it, grab some gains and uh, then wait for the next sell signal which most likely will come sooner or later. But but right now we're seeing a nice healthy bounce potentially to retest resistance and there maybe we can consider to open up um, a short position. This is at least what I think I'm gonna do in the next couple of hours and days. And I hope you liked the live stream. Moon up the likes especially on the YouTube replay, which I'm going to upload later on. And um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up for now. Also, if you also want to take to, tr uh, uh, if you also want to trade, make sure that you're using the link that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some bonus. You support the channel, subscribe here on Twitch, subscribe on Discord. And uh, also, if you want to buy some altcoins, uh, for example, a band, protocol which currently is having this nice breakout from this falling wedge here where the target should be up here at around 18 dollars um, you can do that over on binance and if you need a binance account also you find the link down below here uh, you find even the link here for futures trading on binance because um, on binance you can also trade with leverage um, yeah, here Binance, if you want to register, uh, no KYC, nothing, you can just open it up with the email address and you can immediately start by band protocol, for example, which here we got a nice buy signal, 
we had a nice buy signal here and currently we're seeing the breakout looks pretty healthy in my opinion very very nice target up here at around eighteen dollars we bounced successfully from the 20 daily moving average uh, of course we had the sell signal also here so this push to the upside if it's going to be sustainable in my opinion not because we had a sell signal we're coming down we just had a bounce from the 50 level but um, there's a very high chance that we will go up here to retest this area up here before maybe we see continuation to the downside only if we're able to break out through this resistance up here at 18 dollars create new all-time high and start to build up support above um, similar like we did over here we had this parabolic move had now this support down here and now we're gearing up for the next move then i'm gonna be more bullish on band but currently i still think also here that um we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside but if it's gonna be sustainable this is what we're gonna have to see and most likely it's also gonna be depending on what bitcoin is gonna do all right guys so let's hope that this trade is gonna play out nicely you know the targets where to start to uh, take out a bit of profits out or put stop losses so i still think there's a high chance that we could even reach up here up to eleven thousand nine hundred dollar if not up to this level at least here eleven thousand six hundred maybe here take a bit of profits out i mean if you scaled in your long position since this morning you should be in a nice profit already and everything between here so between eleven thousand five hundred fifty and uh, eleven thousand nine hundred um, should bring you some nice gains all right guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching don't forget subscribe to all the channels that you find down below in the video description and um, we're gonna see us all in the next one happy trading and congratulations to everyone that took this long we're gonna have many many other trading opportunities buy opportunities short opportunities in the future so make sure to subscribe here to the channel tune in in our um discord training chat very important because there usually i bring out always the buy and sell signals uh, that i get here with my own indicator so if you're interested in getting these buy and sell signals make sure to um, join our free discord trading chat everything is for free also supporting the channel using my referral links down below here in the video description and subscribing to the channels everything is completely for free so take advantage and um, take as much gains as possible my friends never be too greedy always lock in profits you will most likely never have the trade of your life with one trade you will be millionaire this will be not possible but day by day Week by week, slowly, we can scalp here gains. And at the end, when we're going to have the next parabolic run, you will be doing very fine. And your por portfolio will be ready. So you don't have to FOMO in uh, after we're going to break 20K and higher. Like mostly all of the people that are not in the crypto space right now, will be asking how can i buy bitcoin how can i enter i want to buy bitcoin at 50k at 100k no one wanted to buy right now at 10k which uh, in my opinion is still very cheap even though we will see most likely a correction down to 9k but the no coiners will not even buy at 9k they will just blame everyone that they know probably that owns Bitcoin or any altcoin that it's gonna go to zero but don't forget Bitcoin since its adoption and since it had value of one cent never went down to zero again so even at the beginning when it was worth one cent it never came back down to zero so why should we go down to zero after 10 years and after reaching ten thousand dollar if you think we're going to zero then go and panic sell but uh, if you think that we will never go to zero again then buy every dip that you're gonna see and uh, as soon as someone is telling you oh my god bitcoin crashed down you have to sell this is going to zero you have immediately to take your credit card take your bank account 
go to Coinbase, go to Binance anywhere and buy as much as you can because that is always the sign that we're gonna bottom and, and we're gonna see a big move to the upside when everyone is uh, blaming the crypto space. All right, I think we can wrap it up with this advice. So happy trading, my friends. Congratulations for, to everyone that took this trade and we're gonna see us all in the next one, probably tomorrow. Bye.